One of the tools I've learned to use is imagery, and it actually happened by accident. I was doing havening with my friend Bet, and I have a very vivid, you know, I'm an artist, so I, I can picture things in my mind. What I've done with the imagery through this, you know, a lot of things don't make sense to us. So we go through a lot of loss, a lot of trauma. Almost every memory I have of my past life brings back sorrow or trauma. I'll give you one example of imagery. Before this happened, my aunt passed away and I was there. I was next to her. And for the longest time, the only image I could ever see of her was her passing. And it, it's not a pleasant image to be stuck with every time you think of her, right? So instead, I pictured her in her favorite color dress, which was red, and she loved to dance, and she loved my uncle. I mean, they met, and they were married seven days later. She loved him with all her heart. So when I started to think of her after that, I would picture her in that dress, dancing with my uncle up in the, up in the clouds, just having the time of her life. That's the image I see now when I think of my aunt. You can use it in all sorts of ways. <laughs> you could even have a shark come out of the water and eat somebody if you wanted to. <laughs> we have to use any tool we can find that helps. And for me, imagery has really worked very well for me. I've pictured myself healing. I've pictured myself doing things. It, that's what I do when I meditate. I try to imagine what it is I'm wanting and, and see it happen, you know? My dad's up in heaven listening to the bands with Dobie Gray. Yeah. Forever Windows Warriors. <laughs>